Hello everyone and welcome to another battle report. Today we're playing more pike and shot, uh, so fighting for Parliament and for the King. I've been joined again by Miller, who's uh, who's come for I think this is our fourth or fifth one now. Yeah. Um, but uh, he's bringing brought a different army to last time, haven't he? What have you brought this time? You brought the new model. I bought the new model army. We 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 got a bit of a thrashing last time, so we've gone back to the drawing board, trained everyone up. And we come back for a grudge match. There was some, uh, there were, yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, we're playing on a large table today. So we've got an eight foot wide table. Um, so this is hopefully going to, uh, you know, give us a nice action. We've got three uh, battalia each, each containing five units or um, four units and one large unit, which we'll roll through in a minute. Um, we've set up a, a, a bit of a very various objectives on this game so it's not just a standard battle um there's a few things to be fighting over um i'll be playing the royalists miller's playing the parliamentarians of course um so what we'll do we'll go through the scenario have a look at the board and then we'll roll through the forces and just get on with it so for the scenario we have a number of, obje of objectives on the battlefield that provide victory points either at the end of the game or at the point that they are captured so in the center of the battlefield we have this objective here this sort of rather tempting looking powder store with these men desperately trying to reload the wagon uh, which both sides are trying to capture that is worth three points we have these two buildings, these two built up areas. These are both worth one point at the end of the game if we have a unit in there that has captured them. So this counts as a zone, so a battalion a unit can move in from any side and it holds one unit and it counts as holding it if they are if they are basically still captured it. Even if they're in combat, they still count as holding it. So you have the small little dwelling over here and over here we have the church and the churchyard. So the little chapel, so you can hold that as well. On top of that, we've got two other objectives that we've uh, we've placed on the battlefield. You have that collection of sort of powder barrels there in the field, and we have another one over here as well. Um, the stores there; those are both worth two points at the point that they are captured. To capture an objective that isn't the buildings, you must if you have more units within three inches of it at the start of your turn than the enemy then you've captured it, basically, and it comes off the board. That's the important thing. It's not about holding these ones. You will capture these. They get. They send the supplies to the rear or or whatever they are, the secret plans, um, Charles's wine, Cromwell's potatoes. Um, turnips. And they, they, turnips, sorry. Turnips. And they send them back to... Uh, uh, to the camp so you capture those so it's about moving quickly to get those so the one in the middle is worth three the ones in the fields are worth two and then the two buildings are worth one at the end of the game if you still hold them <laughs> on top of that we'll be doing the normal two victory points for a unit that has broken and left the battlefield and one victory point for a unit that is shaken at the end of the game shaken units do not count towards capturing objectives um but disordered units do the only difference here is if a shaken unit is holding a building it will still hold it okay so it's these three are the ones that we capture the little ones and then the buildings um are the ones that you want to hold on to them so in terms of the battlefield we've got the this sort of church over here and this um the dwelling two roads coming in and then quite a lot of open moorland these trees are only in here as uh sort of just interesting bits of scenery units move through those with no problem at all um they'll just be moved out of the way um we have fields which are just normal movement the walls uh count as an obstacle um as does this part here formed hedges like these ones these count as an obstacle as well but this lichen this is just here that was very nice <laughs> this is just here uh, so you don't see the ragged edge of the field so troops can move through this lichen stuff absolutely fine um, as this one here this however is an obstacle these formed hedges so there we go so it's quite open there's going to be a lot of movement hopefully um so what we'll do now we'll roll through the armies and the commanders that we have brought along okay so i'm starting with the royalists so uh to keep things quick rather than using points we've just said each battalion consists of five standard units um or or a cannon and uh but a large unit counts as two if you want to put a large unit in there so starting down this end here i have lord hopton um who did such a sterling job last time he has a strategy rating of nine he also allows one pike unit 
unit to be deemed as tough fighters and stubborn. So uh, that would be good because I have a single block of pike, two units of musketeers, um, a storming party and a single medium cannon. Moving into the, uh, the centre, I have Sir Jacob Astley, who has a command rating of 9, and he has a special rule, March on, boys. All infantry units within 12 inches of Astley may count as superbly drilled and can use a free move once during the game. So that could be quite crucial, especially going for the objectives. He ha he, under his command is the, uh, the King's Lifeguard. There's a large pike block two units of musketeers and a single medium cannon on my right flank we have a bard who has no special rules so he is just command rating eight and adds one to the combat um, resolution of anything he's involved in remember unlike hail caesar and uh, black powder commanders here add to combat resolution um, but only if they don't have a named rule so jacob astley doesn't add anything to combats because he's got his own little special rule over here bard has a single block of pike two units of musketeers and he has two units <laughs> of um, horatio carey's horse with him which i've deployed on this flank over here now in command of everything there is who you would expect i have king charles stewart he is a general with a command rating of eight and his special rule is that one unit of horse and one unit of pike gain the elite and valiant rule at no extra cost so he has dubbed the big pike unit as valiant and elite and they're also stubborn i believe and over here, Horatio carries one of his lead horse units, his uh, Valiant and Elite as well. So there we go. That's my 15 units worth of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how things are going to go because Miller, well, Miller's bought a lot of horses. So I think we'll, uh, <laughs> we shall have a, a roll through. So Miller, where do you want to start? Uh, we'll start at the same end then. <clears throat> so we have uh, Oliver Cromwell. He is a command rating of 9, and he has Will of Iron. When fighting with iron sides of any unit he joins, will gain plus 1 morale value, and he will also add plus 2 to the combat resolution. Excellent. Because it's a new model army, and Cromwell's in charge, I can take one large unit of iron sides, so they essentially get the plus 1 on their uh, attack. Uh, it's plus, plus two. 2 on attack. Plus 2, yeah. So they've got an attack rating series, of about right? 9 or 11 or something, haven't they? So. Uh, yeah, so they're... Pretty beefy. Uh, unit of commander shot with first fire, a light cannon, and if you want to pan all the way to the other end, a unit of dragoons which have marauder, so they don't take any um, negative from the, the range that they're under command from. Okay, uh, so then we'll come back to the centre. We have uh, Skippum in charge of the infantry brigade, and that is just comprised of three units of muskets and two units of pike yeah that's quite uh that's quite intimidating actually <laughs> looking at that across the board which is why i've put my cannons uh, <laughs> and uh that. skippen gets the brave boys rule so all infantry units within 12 of skippen receive the brave special rule okay that's interesting okay and then over here to the left we have henry irriton in charge of a unit of pike and shot also three units two shot one pike a medium cannon and a unit of um, cavalry, association cavalry. Excellent. And who's your overall commander? Who's in, your general? In command, we have Sir Thomas Fairfax, and he has got inspiring leader. Uh, so Sir Thomas Fairfax will automatically rally, rally any unit he joins with no need to roll, and he will also rally D3 stamina points. He may not, however, rally units with uh, a unit's last casualty. So essentially... Yeah. He can't bring okay. them back completely from the But that means you've got to put him in a unit, which uh, we know doesn't always work well, especially after your last uh, game with Manchester Many and uh, Essex. So there we go. There are the forces. Um, we rolled to see who would deploy first and go first. Uh, I won the roll, so I said that Miller could uh, he could deploy first, and therefore the parliamentarians will be taking the first turn. Royalists will take turn two. We're going to play six turns and roll for a seventh, four, five, or six at the end of the game to see if it goes on into another turn. Um, I should probably should have said as well, um, similar to Miller, all of my musketeers have first fire. And we all know that I've got a, a stubborn 
Cheatsy uh, Royalist. through here. Cheatsy Royalist, even though you've got this mass of cavalry over there, which uh, uh, is somewhat making the table bow. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. So we're not gonna we're not gonna hang around. We'll just get stuck in Parliamentarian Turn One. Okay, so was that a success? <laughs> successful command phase? Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, everything on this brigade managed to do what it wanted. I didn't forgot to move the commander, but uh, the cavalry's moved up. You can shuffle him a bit if you want to. Oh, That's maybe, all right. Maybe. Uh, cavalry's moved up one move just to screen the cannon for now. The cannon's moved up on top of the hill, but because it's a medium cannon and it's moved, it can't shoot in the same turn. The dragoons, ah, they didn't want to do anything. We'll come back to them in a minute. Uh, the Infantry is just moved up to line up against the fence for now, and then later on they might try and take it into the farm. Okay. Um, forget about that bit. We'll forget, forget about, about that, that bit for now. Uh, Cromwell <laughs> moved up uh, close to the objective, and then everything else failed on it, which is obviously why the Dragoon has never moved. Commander Shot tried to move up to support, but they failed, and the cannon can't do anything because okay. the command failed. I think we better explain why there's a bit of a gap in your lines. Well, I, I might have blundered. And then rolled a one, and then they've all marched off the table. And it was a yeah, it was a whole battalion order, wasn't it? We, we forgot, we forgot our ammunition. So they're off. We're off. Um, so, so a third of Miller's army has just left the field, leaving the big. So he's got he's got his flanks, but his centre's just gone. Um, commanders in <laughs> yeah. pike and shot. All that you know, we don't play in pike and shot about the reroll. Instead, as in the rule book, they can order a unit that hasn't been ordered. So, for example, um, Miller's one one of his ones that wasn't ordered. Or, or never got a chance to be ordered, he could do an order, but he was too far away for any of those ones to do anything. Um, so, yeah, they're gone. So to come back on the battlefield, they're just normal command orders, but they can't move back on any further than six inches. Obviously, that that's a little put a little bit of a crimp in his plan. It also means my cannons don't have anything to shoot at, yeah. uh, apart from Fairfax. Um, <laughs> but um, anyway, so uh, we we won't linger on that. I think it's uh, they're gonna, <laughs> it's going to be a talking. Yeah, move into. on, move on. Right, so it's shooting. Um, nothing's in range to shoot. Is there nothing at all? My cannon on the my heavy medium oh, cannon can't shoot because it's at, it's moved to the same time. Yep. And the light cannon can't shoot because it'll end up shooting the guys in the back and all the musketeers are out of range. Okay, but you are over here. You have got that objective. So if they are still um, there within three inches of that objective at the start of the next turn, you take it. And so I can see them off um, uh, or shake them because we said shaking units can't take them. So. Um, we'll see what goes on. So let's go into Royalist Turn 1. So, um, my line has moved, not as far as I would like, um, but nobody's fled the board. Uh, so, because of what happened to Miller, I was a bit nervous about doing any kind of brigade or battalion Chicken orders. Down. Yeah, basically. So, uh, starting over here, Hopton uh, tried to push his forces forward, um, and one of the units have shot, and the pikes have made it to the, uh, the hedge line to try and give some fire over onto the iron sides, uh, but that didn't go according to plan because he failed. So uh, to order these guys, Char because these are part of his um, battalion, uh, but they weren't issued an order, Charles, 
used his general's order to order them and they succeeded in getting the orders off and they are in the churchyard uh, so that they now count as occupying that whole area so just like when they're in a the building they can fire out one dice to each direction um, so they have a shoot of two normally um, so uh, what's it a shoot of three we'll have to double check that when it comes to it um, in the centre Astley um, command managed to get a brigade order off on one move and that's just moved once down towards the centre objective uh, so the cannon has rolled up three inches as well he then used uh, his superbly drilled uh, special rule because uh, it's any unit within 12 inches gets a free move to move these chaps down because over here the bard the cavalry moved up under Horatio Carey. I did try to get a charge off against that cavalry, uh, but it would have been three orders and I only got the one. So the cavalry have just moved up. One unit of shot has moved up against uh, there to just try and give a little bit of fire. Uh, Pikes failed to move. So that ended um, his uh, command, uh, his orders phase, this chap here. Bard and Astley hadn't been yet, so he used his special rule where he gets he can move a unit once during the game uh, to move that shot forward. So that's the state of the Royalist lines. Um, they were all still on the board though. That's the, and that's the main thing. Did you try to uh, copy Haley's tactic and just charge? I did just try. Yeah, I did try to copy my wife's tactic, but clearly she's got the knack with the dice. So it's just into the shooting. So um, I believe we'll start over here with Hopton. Am I in range over there? It's 18 inch range, isn't it, on the shot? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I've got, I've got first fire, so I get to add one dice to this. Um, so hang on, I'll just grab the dice and the dice tray and we'll get started. Okay, so I've got three shots. Um, and uh, so two normally plus the first fire, so I've got two shots. Um, there's no modifiers to anything. I am hitting on fours. Uh, you're disordered. <laughs> Uh, that's not going to stop you getting the objective and a single save. So you saved, but you are disordered. Okay, so they're done. Next up, I'm going to use the storming party who are in here. Now, from this, basically, they have first fire, so they're getting plus one dice. So from one facing, I can fire twice and one once. Well, that's how we interpret it anyway. However, the top facing here will suffer a minus one to shoot at them because it's going to be firing through that hedge, whereas the people firing here are going straight through it. So I'm going to add either two dice are going to fire from this this side. Um, they're just, I haven't got fire locks, have I? Uh, have I got fire locks or have I got match locks to storming uh, party? Storming party, uh, fire locks, yep. So that's plus one to hit then, at 12 inches. So because these are fire locks, they count close range as 12 inches. These are in 12 inches. So these guys are hitting on freeze for this one. That's uh, another save. They're already disordered, so can't be disordered again. Yep. They're saved. What is their save? Their save is uh, three. Wow, okay. Um, and then the one dice from the other facing is at minus one, so I'm hitting on a five. No. There we go. So that first fire is gone, but they are, importantly, they are in there. Uh, next up, we have... The cannon can't shoot at anything, I don't think, because these guys are all in the way. Coming across here, no one is in range, and I don't think anybody is in range here. Is no, anyone in range? range no. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so that is the end of the Royalist turn. So I've managed to disorder the Iron Sides. They are elite, though, aren't they? They are. So they, what well, they elite four plus, aren't yep. they? So they can they can get rid of that at the start of the next turn. Um, however, being disordered doesn't stop them catching the objective. So Miller will take that at the start of his turn, uh, which seems like seems makes, quite it worth worth it. It. makes it worth it. A third of your army's walked off the field, but it's okay. You you got the beer. We're lulling you in. Absolutely right. Parliamentarian turn two. Okay, so a more successful parliamentarian turn. Miller, how's it going? What went on? Well, a lot better. You can obviously see so, something came back. So they basically just came back and they're yes. just essentially just redeployed where they are exactly at, at the start. So there we go. Uh, over here, uh, obviously the cavalry managed to catch the objective. And because of their elite four, they managed to uh, roll off their disorder. 
and then they've just pulled back. The uh, commander shot have moved up to be able to give fire and the cannon has been able to move up and pivot because it's a light cannon it can shoot the same turn so that's going to lay some fire down on the on the bill. Yeah, um, and then over here you these, held. These guys stayed, uh, didn't want to move too far up ahead, but the Dragoons under Cromwell's command have moved up, dismounted for the free action or free move, and then have moved in and are occupying the little farmstead. That's where they've left their horses, isn't it? And they're then, just, and then so they're, they're, not, they're, they're not a target, but if I want to remount, I've got to come back to them. That's to it. And to then they're, they're in there, just uh, there's a little dwelling there. Um, so they're holding that, and, and then, then the cannon's just sort of readjusted, so it doesn't have to shoot that way. I can just sh shoot some of these nice little targets here, and the cavalry is just there protecting the artillery. Right. Okay. So shooting. Where do you want to start? Uh, I think we'll start on the far right. Excellent. Okay. So it's going to be your your sleeve of uh, sh well, no, it's not sleeve. Is it commander so shot? So it's a commander shot, not storming. Pole. And you've got a first fire. And so it's going to be four pole. shots then, isn't it? It is indeed. So it's four shots. Um, you so are out of range for that. So they're obviously going to be shooting into the to the uh, into the chapel, chapel, into the churchyard. Okay. So uh, you have three plus one, and I'm not a clear target because I'm inside cover so you're hitting on fives four dice hitting on fives uh one um, with a disorder one with a disorder okay i uh because we i, I mean cover we're only counting this as cover they're not in the building we can't actually go into the building so it's just yep. cover so it's just plus one to their save so the save is normally four so they're saving on a three no so i've taken a casualty and i'm disordered Okay, there we go. Casualties on. Uh, who's firing next? The cannon? We'll do the cannon next. It's, is it within 12? It is within 12, but it's not... Um, well, it, it's not within 12, sorry. It's within its range. So it's, it's just one dice. So just one, dice. one dice hitting on a five, minus one, so hitting on a six. Let's go for it. Ah, ah no. lucky. Okay, uh, so these guys are also in range for this. Yeah. Shot. Uh, they're in range. The, so so the, they have a shooting of two uh, because it's a, they're not commanded shot. No, so but they uh, do have first fire. So they get three dice. Uh, they are hitting on fives. No. Oh, one set. Uh, worth uh, a try. Is this, oh, no, no that's a one. one. The one is a, Skull is a one. Skull okay. Is a one. Uh, and then obviously I'm not, not going to waste all of my first fire on this lot. So I'll, uh, I'll hold off on them. Uh, so these guys are just going to hold fire for now. These guys are out of range. To shoot anything? Yep. Since you've moved up. Now the Dragoons. Dragoons! Uh, obviously we know that we can fire from that side and we can fire yep. from that side. So these guys are going to fire... Um, What's their shooting, the Dragoons? Two? That. Dragoons, the Firelocks, and they have uh, Firelocks and shooting of two. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, so they have first they, fire? They don't have first fire. Okay, so you can basically fire one from that one face. That one and one, of, one of that one. Okay, so shooting at these now is plus one because they're within 12. Yep. Yep. So you're hitting on a three, disordered. and it's disordered, and a single save of five, I believe, for musketeers. Yep. Casualty, and I'm disordered. Uh, but they are stubborn, so I can re-roll that failed, uh, and still fail. <laughs> um, okay. So there we go. Disorders on them, and now the shot at them. They're not a clear target, so the plus one is basically negated. It's so it's just going to be a four. Hitting on a four. Hitting on a four. Um, saving on a five. Plus one because they're in cover. So saving on a four. No, but they are stubborn. No. Ah. They cashed as well. Stick that stubborn up the... Up, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Um, that cannon. The cannon, yeah. Um, I think actually the cannon is going to take a shot at your cavalry over it's the... It's not... Is it within half? Is it within 18? Uh, so this is a medium one. So 36 inch range, they're not within 18. So, so it's 22. just one the one dice hitting on a five. That's it. No, minus one because over half range. Okay, so we just double checked because obviously we play so many rules. The cannon is minus one because it's over half range. Uh, and if there were firing over people's heads, it would be another minus one. So hitting on a five normally because it's a cannon, minus one. So that Miller needs a six. No. no. Okay. And <laughs> that is that. the the end of the shooting phase, isn't it? So uh, yes. So you're not bad. You've disordered a couple of my units. Um, I think we're just going into the next royalist turn. Let's crack on.
Right, so there we go. That was the Royalist turn, and there's been quite a lot going on. We'll start over here. Over here, Hopton uh, is very, very wary of the iron side, so I didn't break cover. I thought it was more important to get his battalia back together, so they've all moved up, and if they do go forward, it'll be as a group. I don't want the straggler out there with them floating around over there. Um, in here, there's nothing they can do. They're just holding on to that. Cannons have stayed where they are because I'm going to be raining fire on that uh, battalion that's arrived you at miss. the you back. Um, I've got a first fire token next to the cannon. Uh, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't get it. Uh, yes, so there we go. They certainly don't get that. Um, in the centre... This was quite a hard decision to make, but I used Astley's ability of Superbly Drilled, which gives units one units within 12 inches of him one free move in a game. And I just did that and moved these units all six inches forward so that I can claim that objective. Miller's going to have to get to it and contest me for it next turn. Um, but I have three units in there that count um, in there at the minute. So unless he shakes them all and gets up there, then I should be able to get that. Um, over here, um, Bard, um, it's all come off well. So if a pipe Pikes have charged and they are in combat. Um, they are trying to force their way in uh, to the uh, small holding there. They took a casualty on the way in. That's what the guys are crying on the road is all about. Um, these guys will be supporting. Over here, I tried to execute a charge um, against Miller's Cavalry and failed. And then Charles uh, tried to use his, uh, his general order to get these guys to charge and failed as well. But that is quite a bit of a distance between the two. So it's no surprise. So I think we'll go straight on to shooting. Uh, now we look over here, I believe I'm out of range with all of these guys, so the only thing I'm going to fire is I'm going to fire my, but it's only going to be from this front facing, so from the top facing I will fire at your commanded shot over there and I'm going to be hitting on a 5 because it's plus 1 normally for the 12 inch range but I'm minus 1 because of the obscured unit, so I'm hitting on a 5. Hey, that's a hit. Um, uh, commanded shot. Same. Commanded shot is a say. I would imagine it's a five because you're not you, you're not in cover. You're just there's a thing that I'm shooting through to get to you. So but then my normal morale is a four. So it's four up. Well done. Very good. And then my one dice from this side, from this corner. So from this corner, would I be able to? Am I within eighteen of your? You uh, say? Out on that. I mean, you could probably do the because it's from the, to the front of the of the base, isn't it? For the yeah, pipe yeah. Block. So yeah, I'll just pop a shot at the pipe block. Um, they're not within. You watch 12. Your disorder. You watch. Oh yes, no, I am disordered, so I'm minus one. So that shouldn't have been a hit. Oh, well, the, but but they saved it anyway. So I need a six to hit. That's a six. So oh, I disordered uh... you. <laughs> and a single save. Uh, and a casualty. And uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you tempted fate right. there. Um, now, let's have a look here. So my unit here is within 18 of your unit there. I have first... This one? Uh, this unit is going to shoot at that this one? unit. Yeah. Um, so I have two normally, three for first fire. You're not a clear target, so I'm hitting on fives. All right, fives to hit. No hits. And I've lost first fire. These guys... Are they within? Because you're obviously not in a. I'm sure the uh, They are from that. You have to go from the centre. From the centre. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll yeah. You that. Okay, yeah. so they're also going to be hitting on fives. I wish I hadn't given. Disordered you. and two saves, but you're in cover. So, uh, but it's a sleeve of muskets, isn't it? So, yep. it's save of five, save of fours. Uh, one, one casualty and disordered. I do like it when the disorder starts appearing. Um, these guys can't really see anyone to shoot. My unit here, now I can't shoot your horse holders, can I? No, they're just, no. A, they're just a mark. Am so I in start. range with your horse? I might just be out. Centre, you are out of range. I am out of range. Okay, that's no problem. They're going to be supporting combat here. These guys do, I always forget they have pistols, don't they? But I think that's, it's like a three. It's like a, range. yeah, six. Oh, six. 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 Like so there we go. Right, okay, so that's the shooting done. Uh, no break tests to take. Um, so we'll go on to oh, the combat. Cannon. Oh, no, my cannon. Thank you. You might regret doing that. <laughs> um, okay, so the cannon, they're going to be both sixes to hit, aren't they? They're over, it's 30, they're over 18 inches. Yep. Um, they are going to just fire the first. Well, yeah, first cannon is going to fire at that unit. I think they both have to. I think that'll be be the nearest yeah. unit. So two shots on that. Both two shots. On both hitting. Do you want to fire on together yeah, or as well? So both hitting on sixes. No. Both missed. No problem. Um, there we go. So yes, now it is the combat with Bard's pike block. Okay. 
Okay, so I have six attacks for my pikes. They are hitting on freeze because they've charged. They're just trying to fight their way in. I suppose they haven't just got their pikes, have they? Don't they have like little swords? Yeah, and they'll, things, be right? the pie, they'll be the dropping the pike. They'll be dropping a pike. So they're getting in stuck in there. Miller has three dice hitting on fours. Um, so let's see how that goes. Okay, hitting on threes, no rerolls. Uh, four good. hits. Uh, you've got three dice hitting on fours. Oh, two true. hits. I need two saves of four, and I'm stubborn. Oh. Let's save my stubborn reroll. So both saved. You, and I hang on, you have four saves. What's your normal save? Uh, normal save is on a um, uh, five. Okay, but you are, we're saying you're in, uh, you are fine from cover, so you've four. So you've got four saves of four. Uh, One. So three casualties? Three casualties. Okay, let's work out what's happened. Okay, so before we put the casualties down, we'll do the break test. Um, I, uh, Miller, sorry, has taken three casualties and I am supported. So that why combat result is four. Miller did no casualties on me, but he is fighting. If you remember, we said that the buildings would be plus one. So he has a result of one. So I won the combat by three. Now, unlike Hail Caesar, where you take the difference, it's just a straight break test. Now, Miller's taken three casualties, which means he is shaken. Um, but there is no other modifier. There's no minuses. It's just a straight up break test. So we'll have a look at what that means. Four. Four, uh, four or less. Um, if that is infantry, cavalry, or artillery, the unit breaks and is destroyed. That was quick. Okay, well, uh, Miller's going to be uh, removing the Dragoons. They've been seen off. Um, and as it's off the charge, uh, my unit is going to move in and occupy that position. That was quite handy. So I've got pikes defending... Okay, just so you can see what's going on there. So the pikes have taken um, the small holding. That is the end of the royalist turn. Um, and it's, it's going all right. So my disorder is now going to come off and we go into parliamentarian turn three. Okay, so very successful parliamentarian command phase. So, Miller, what happened? As, a, as you can probably see, there's quite a big line of troops, but where do you want to start? Well, you say successful, but a fair few things happened. The left-hand side's not done anything, or my left-hand side's... Uh, your no, right you're side. holding them in some sort of reserve. So they're, they? Yeah, they're, they're holding off. I don't want the cannons to get left on their own. I would have charged the muskets, but if they'd have failed, they'd have shot to pieces. They're close to the objective, but... There's a lot of cavalry there. So let's over the are. Musketeers are going to stay to try and shoot over here. Pikemen failed to move. Yeah, you tried to charge this unit I of did. musketeers, didn't you? Uh, and obviously these guys can't do anything. The centre brigade that had obviously only just come on has managed to move up its whole lot here. Obviously these guys can't move because they're disordered. But again, they're going to pummel some shots into over there. Yes. And then the commander shot, uh, jumped over the hedge, charged into the unit, took closing fire, but didn't take any casualties. Cannons moved up to be able to shoot up that lot over there, and the cavalry were going to try and turn and move as far as this side as they could, but they only turned, but they're now <coughs> at risk of um, enfilading fire from Hopton's mm. if they jump. I'm out of range at the minute, but um, I could potentially hop that hedge, and if I do get to enfilade them, then um, that could be quite nasty. Yes. Um, them. so shooting, where do you want we'll to start? We'll start over this side. Okay. So start with the cannon. Yeah, what's that going to do? He's going to try and shoot at the uh, unit in the hedgerow. So it's going to be a six, basically. It's going to be a six. Right. Just I'm within range, which I am. Okay, so it's going to be hitting on a six. Okay, you need a six. Oh! oh! Okay, so I've got to take a break test anyway, don't I? Because I've been hit by... I think we'll have to check with that. I yeah, but uh, I need a... I get plus one for the cover. Five. Um, is there a morale modifier? There should be, I believe. Taking a cash. Uh, hit by light or medium artillery is minus two. Ooh. So my save is five. It goes down to four. Save is six. 
then. Oh, uh, here we go. By I mean, Andy's order. By Andy's order. So that's, so that's three shots not shooting at that cavalry next turn. Well, they would be shooting. Not at no, the cavalry, they won't be. Because they're out of range. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> that's hand to hand combat. Yep. Do you want to start here and work we'll our way around? Here, yeah, okay. Right, so um, no, these are all match locks, aren't they? Uh, yep. yep. So these ones are obviously going to shoot at them. So that's They've two shots. Fire. So two shots. Um, it's just going to be hitting on fours. One on the disorder. One, uh, so one save of five. Yep. Okay. And I'm disordered. One second. Uh, okay. Okay, so this unit here is going to fire. Which well, one? We'll, we'll do both units. Yeah. Both with first fire, so it's six shots. And they're, are they all firing at? Both going to shoot at the. You need to do them separately because of my stubborn. Uh, okay, we can do that. Because I get to re-roll one from each shooting attack. You see, so if you do them, yeah, are, are they closer to the pipe block than they are? Uh, then? Well, we're going off the front of that. Yeah, it's, the, it's the front. Yeah. Front of that. So that is. Uh, Ten and a half, and that is eleven. Okay, totally cool. Go for them. So it's three dice hitting on fours. One, one hit, one save of four. Saved, of course. And, and then the another others. three. Uh, it's two hits. Two hits. Two saves of four. Oh. One and stubborn. Come on. Yeah. One casualty. Okay, so now you've got your guys in there. Yeah, so they're going to shoot at the, the pipe same block. One. So they've got first fire. They do. So, so three shots, but they're going to be hitting on fives because of the disorder. That's right. No. No. Okay, so we'll have to try. And then these guys uh, against them, the uh, it's just going to be fours. Yep. Yeah. Still three shots. No. No. Uh, yes. Yes, one. One, seven, four, five. And the musketeers. Am I stubborn, the musketeers? Uh, yes, I stubborn? you're stubborn across the board. Yes, I am. And I saved. Typical. Okay, oh. so there we go. So, uh, a bit few casualties across here. Cannon. Cannon. Uh, I think we'll just shoot. Go against them. Okay, so it's going to be it's going to be so two dice. Two dice. What's what is the heart? What is it? Thirty six for. Yeah, so it's eighteen. So. So they're within fifteen. So they so, get so two, two dice. dice. So it's five. So it's five up, but they're in cover. So six. it's a six. No. No. Okay, so there we go. So it's hand-to-hand -hand combat over uh, in the churchyard. Now in the churchyard, we have uh, the storming party. The storming party have a hand-to-hand -hand of four and the musketeers have a hand-to-hand -hand of three. three. So you've got three dice hitting on threes. I've got four dice hitting on fours. Charges first. On threes. Yep. None. None. Okay, wow. I'm hitting on fours. Wow. Uh, three. You need three saves of five. Commanded shot, are they five or four? Commanded shot of uh, four. Four, so three saves of four. Uh, two casualties. There we go, and as you lost, you're taking the break test. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, no negatives? Uh, no negatives, just straight straight up. Eight. Eight, they're fine, they're gonna fight on next turn. There we go. Okay, so oh, it's getting very close. The question is what's going to happen here. I'll claim that at the start of the next turn. Um, and then we'll see if all these uh, all these lines are going to clash with each other. So let's get into it. Let's go into Royalist turn three. So here we go. So a pretty successful royalist turn in the centre. Um, let's start over here. So the first thing I tried to do was charge Horatio Carey's cavalry again. That failed. Charles, who was up here at the time, tried to uh, push them forward as well. That didn't work. Um, so Bard is holding over here. So Charles has come over to yell um, things at him to try and get him to move a bit. So I'm a little bit stalled here, but I'm holding on to the dwelling. But that. That objective there is still up for grabs. These guys aren't close enough to claim it, and the cavalry are just being stubborn. They're just staring at each other. So hopefully these two, because at some point I think a cavalry battle there is inevitable. 
I just hope it's on my terms. Over here, um, in the center, Astley commanded um, the pike to charge. And I've targeted the unit of musketeers there. They took a casualty and got disordered on the way in. However, um, they made it. Uh, so we fight in combat there. This unit of musketeers have moved forward. They'll add support, but they're going to hopefully fire into that load of musketeers there. This lot couldn't move. Cannons over here are just ready to do some shooting. We've got the ongoing combat in the churchyard. And over here, Hopton, his pike block, and his musketeers have hopped the fence. And they're going to do some shooting against the Ironsides. Now, if the Ironsides do decide to uh, charge, I should be able to do a hedgehog with my musketeers yep. to, to defend against that. So... It'd be interesting to see what Miller does, although the fact that if I go into a hedgehog, he could then just sit there shooting me with his cannon, it would be quite tempting for him. So, it's shooting first, and I think we're going to start with my unit over here. They are enfilading, going, firing into the flank of the uh, iron side, so I get double the dice, so I get four dice, hitting on fours. I see the sword coming in. There we go. What Disordered, <coughs> uh, so just two hits, so two saves and a disorder. Uh, two saves, yeah. Yep. Saving on three. Freeze. Yes. Yeah, but they are disordered. Okay, but I am elite. They are elite, so you are you could get rid of that. But that's quite handy for me, because if I can hold them, if they don't get rid of that elite and they can't do anything next turn and I get my men over, could be, oh, you're already charge, charge you pikes. Yes. Because a disordered unit I don't think can do counter charge. So if I can charge pikes into the side of... Ooh. I don't think I want to counter charge your pikes. I don't think you want to counter charge the pikes. No, that's a good point. Uh, they can't shoot, so my cannons are up next. So this cannon here is going to fire against those musketeers. I think I'm within 18 inches. Would you mind checking? Dude. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, well... If we're measuring from the gun or from the placement, uh, it's from the gun. The from the gun, it's just out. Actually, it's just 19. out. Okay. Unless you measure to the. No, no, it's it's from the front of it. That's that would be. So it's just one one dice hitting on a six because it's over half range. It's a six, so it's a disorder and then minus two. Um, but a save a six always saves. So you're looking for a six. Yeah. Oh, you did save. Um, now my other cannon that is within eighteen. Of that unit? Yeah. Of that unit. So two dice, and this time hitting on fives. Nope. No hits. Um, this unit of shot are going to fire at them uh, as well. Uh, they're minus one to hit because of the disorder, so they're hitting on fives. Two dice. That's uh, one hit, so one save of five. Oh. No, nope. single casualty. Moving along the line, this unit of shot are going to fire at them. They're just outside of six inches, so I've got two dice hitting on fours. One hit, one save of three. No, five. Sorry. Oh. Yes. Well done. Um, are these guys in range of your people behind the hedge? Uh, they are out of range. No, okay, so they can't do anything. And these guys here are out of range of your horse, aren't they? So we can't do anything there. Okay, so it's just hand-to-hand -hand combat. So the first hand-to-hand -hand combat we'll do will be the one in the churchyard. I won the last round, so I'm plus one to hit. So I've got four dice hitting on threes. You've got three dice hitting on fours. Threes. Uh, that's four hits. Fours. Yep. Two. two hits. I need two saves of three because I'm in cover. One casualty. You need four saves of four. Oh, one casualty. One casualty. Okay, so it's going to be worked out on combat results. Okay, so I think I've won by one, but I did one casualty. Miller did one casualty. I'm fighting from a defended position for one, so it's 2-1. And I can't be supported. And you can't be supported there. So... You are now shaken, aren't you? Because you've yep. taken three casualties. So it's Miller taking a break test, but there's no modifiers. Seven? Seven, I believe he's going to be fighting on. Yep, yeah, you hold your ground and fight on into the next turn. But he's going to be suffering minus one because they are shaken. Uh, so just the... It's the big fight. combat here. So my unit gets eight dice. I charge, which is plus one, but I'm disordered, which is minus one. So I have eight dice hitting on fours. I'm re-rolling one for tough fighter as well, I think. No, they are not tough fighters. Um, that's uh, Hopton's unit of pike. That's his rule. We gave them tough fighters. You can upgrade them, uh, but they've got eight. So they've got eight dice hitting on fours. How many dice have you got? I've got three. Three dice hitting on fours as well. So eight dice hitting on fours. That's four hits. 
Uh, you've got three dice hitting on fours. That's uh, two hits. Two hits. I have two saves of four, re-rolling one for stubborn. Both saved. Cool. You have four saves of five. Wish me luck, guys. None. None. Four casualties. <laughs> so you're stubborn and you're one in excess. So Shaken, not stubborn. Sorry, yes. Oh, sorry. Even if we work out the combat results, I've done four casualties and I have one support for five points. You've got, got two support, so you lose the combat. You're one in excess, so you are 2d6 minus one for your break test. Eight. Eight. Seven. Um, so they can fight on. Yeah, yeah, they fight on. So the excess casualty comes off. Um, I just need to check something about where that casualty goes, because I know in Hail Caesar it goes on to a supporting unit. Okay, no, so what I was looking at was in the new version of Hail Caesar, something we'd realised is when you remove the casualties for supporting, uh, for in a unit, if the unit has supports, those casualties actually get distributed over to the supports. And I couldn't remember if that was the same in Pike and Shot. Um, but I can't find it, so it isn't, so we're not going to do it. <laughs> so, that is the end of the Royalist turn. So, let's see how the Parliamentarians are going to respond. And are the Ironsides going to move? Okay, so it's all kicking off in the centre. Um, quite a few things have happened. Miller, uh, where do you want to start? We'll start on the far end. Uh, tried to remove the disorder with the Elite Four, but I failed. The cannons just moved up a little bit, just a little bit closer to be able to put some more shots into these guys. Uh, combat's continuing on. Musketeers can't do anything. These guys can't really do anything other than support. I move this unit up closer to be in support, but isn't close enough. These guys oh, are should be three inches. You'll probably be fine. Oh, they probably are. Sorry. Uh, um, I'll take that. <laughs> These guys are obviously still in support here. The musketeers that were here... Oh, sorry. The pikemen that were here charged the flank of this unit, which prevented them from giving closing fire from the musketeers that charged. And these musketeers are going to try and shoot into the dwelling. The cannon on the hill is going to also take a shot into the dwelling. The cavalry... I risked it and tried to charge the musketeers, but they fell just short. So they're contesting to get the objective, provided that nothing charges later on, but they will get shot point black in the face with first fire. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. So we've got some shooting. Where do you want to start? Uh, we'll start with the cannon on the far right. Okay. Um, so 20... I what it is. 24 inches. So if I'm within 12, I get an extra shot. Shooting at the pike block. I uh, don't. So it's so one, one dice shot. hitting on a six. Oh, I did see the six. Oh, uh, yeah, unlucky. Times there. <laughs> uh, okay. So these they can't. can't these guys will shoot at, them. at their mortal enemies. You're minus one because of the disorder, so yep. you are hitting on fives. Nope. No. Nope. It's going to be like that. Uh, we're moving on down the line. They, they can't, can't shoot. There's no one to shoot, shoot at. at. Nothing here. They were shooting into the dwelling. So it's plus one because of the range, minus one because it's in a, because they're in the, the sort of they're in that area. Yeah. Uh, cover so fours, fours yeah. Oh. Two hits and a disorder, two saves of three, and I have stubborn. Freeze. Uh, stubborn, saved, but they are distorted. And the cannon on the hill. That'll be two dice. Two dice. It's going to be sixes, isn't it? No. That's the end of the shooting. Um, oh, we'll uh, through. The oh, no, pistols. you can. Yeah, pistols. So uh, it's six inches. Is there any special rules for pistols? No. So I imagine you're just at plus one because they are... Shoot value of one. Yeah, so one dice hitting on a... Well, it's plus one, minus one. So hitting on a four. Oh, that to say. <laughs> okay. That almost felt like a complete waste of time. So where, which combat do you, do you want to start with? Um, your... We'll do this one. The new one. Get rid of the support that would have supported them. Okay, all right then. So uh, the pike block charged. So they get eight... No, six dice. Hitting on freeze. You haven't got any. Have you got tough fighters or anything? 
Uh, I have three dice. Uh, because I'm being attacked, I have to put at least half my dice. So one dice is going to be going to the pikes, and two dice will go forward into the shot. And your shot have three attacks. They do. Also hitting on freeze because they're charged. All right, we'll do your pike first. So the pike, you're hitting on freeze. Uh, four hits. Four hits. Okay, and then your shot has three dice hitting on freeze. One hit. One hit. Okay, I've got one dice going back at your pike. Um, so I'm hitting on a four. That's a hit. And I have two dice uh, against your shot, also hitting on fours. Two hits. So you have three. I have five saves of five to make. Rerolling one for stubborn. Two saves. I've taken three casualties. You have three. Um, so you have your pike have one save to make of four. Yep. yep. And your shot have two saves of five. One. One. Okay. Okay. So it's fair to say I've lost the combat because, I mean, well, not by a huge amount, to be fair. Um, I. Oh, I just realised, actually. I think I might have messed up. I should have been. Um, I think I need to read. Do you want me to re-roll? Basically, I should because I was engaged to the flank. I should have been at minus one to my hit roll. No, we'll you sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Sorry, guys. Um, so yes, I should because remember I was facing my flank. So remember, remember that, that for next time. Yeah. If, no, remember. but remember if they now win, because <laughs> I let them. Win. Oh, it's because you let them win. All right, but the thing is, I've got to take a break test now anyway. So it's two d six straight. Six. six. I think they're off, but they're not off. I think off. Unit retires one full move away from the enemy. If unable to disengage, make another full move away from the enemy. If still unable to disengage, unit breaks and is destroyed. So one full move backwards. Um, so they're going to go back to 60. Right, we'll get everything moved. Uh, and it's up to Miller to what he wants to do. Okay, so Miller's unit pursued my unit, uh, but he didn't want to do a complete full pursuit. He's just basically there to cut, cut off support to my pikes. His pike has made a full move, not quite enough. I mean, they couldn't charge him anyway. Infantry and sweeping advance. Um, so the next one, do you want to do this one? Or do you want to... Well, uh, we have to do this one because they're a different... Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that one. Yep, yeah, okay. So, right, I hope I need to... I'm a bit worried about them. So we have... I have eight dice. I am hitting on freeze because I won the last round of combat. You have three dice hitting on fives because you're shaken, but you are supported to three sides there. Okay, you first. <laughs> yeah, I'm hitting on fives. No hits. No. What an awful problem. Uh, I'm hitting on threes. Oh, lovely. Look at that, that is so bad. Lovely. Look at that. So two hits, you get to re-roll one. Oh, because you're no, not a fighter. fighter, am I? So you need two saves. Two saves. Uh, seven on five. I'm just, I just realized, no, um, I wasn't hitting on freeze anyway, but I didn't roll, I rolled a four and a six, uh, because I'm disordered. <laughs> so, what did so you do? you're only hitting on... I'm hitting on four, because I'm minus one, because I was disordered, but I rolled five. So, lucky. so I, I, I rolled uh, one save and one casualty. Okay, so, so one casualty. One in excess. Okay. However, if we had top everything up, I think I'm lost. So, I've done one casualty, but I am only supported by this unit. No, they're within three. Are they within three? Nope. Okay. No, they're not within three. Uh, so I got a result of one. Uh, got you, three you've got three supports. supports, so you win. Okay. So, uh, but I need to do a break test. No, you don't, because it's not a draw. No, it's only if it's a draw. So it's me testing, um, just straight. Oh, six. six. So I am going to be surely. falling back, but because I can't fall back once, they're going to fall back twice. Um, wow, okay, and then I am disordered, but I'm disordered already anyway. So, let's get everything moved. Okay, so my pike have retreated uh, up the hill, and uh, because Miller's unit is shaken, it can't do anything anyway, so his line is just nicely formed, but I think you've got a good good formation going there. Um, well, yeah, they're all right, they're all right, they've been protected by the musketeers. Yeah, true. All right, so the churchyard fight continues. I think this could be quite crucial, because if you take control of that churchyard... You own sort of the whole centre ground of the battlefield. So I get four dice hitting on threes. You have three dice hitting on fives. It's your turn, so you can roll first. You're looking for fives. No, no I'm looking for threes. Oh, oh. wow. Uh, that's eight ones I've rolled in the last two rolls. Uh, you have one save of five, four. Yes. Saved. Okay. Um, however, oh. no, because I'm holding the ground. So right. I start on one. So it's just a break test. Straight no up. 
No. Five. Five Ooh. is um, infantry. Unit retires one full move away from the enemy. After moving it is disordered. Okay. And then that disorder is going to come off at the end of the phase anyway, so I probably won't even bother putting it on. But they are shaken, um, so... Okay. Right, um... That's it, isn't it? Across here, so... Here's the state of things at the minute. Getting this parliamentarians are sweeping around like this. Hopton's kind of out on his own over there. And uh yeah, I've still got my cavalry and not really doing very much. I might need God, to start I thinking about them. Right, okay, so let's go into the royalist turn. Okay, so it's been an interesting turn. Um, let's start over here. Hopton uh, managed to get his musketeers over the hedge, so they are in range. And um, we've sort of, you probably saw in the overhead, we kind of thrashed it out and they're not going to. We decided they won't get enfilading fire um, simply because of this unit essentially also being in the way. That unit still will over there, but they have still got first fire when they come to shoot. This unit are holding ground in the churchyard, ducking and diving behind the gravestones. Um, Cannons are still in range. Over here, just had a little bit of shifting around. I didn't manage to remove the disorder of my elite unit, um, so I couldn't get a charge in. So what I've done is I've kind of consolidated my gun line. This unit were close enough to move our initiative uh, to come up and support and fire in as well. I've left the guys in the small holding. Over here, I've kept the musketeers here. I tried to first of all charge the rearmost unit into um, the cavalry. That didn't come off. However, the front unit, uh, Horatio Carey's, horse did get in so at least they are being supported uh, miller turned to face as he is cavalry so uh, we'll have some hand-to-hand -hand combat going on there which is going to be fun to resolve um so it's just shooting so i think we'll start with hopton because that's what's been going on and we'll start with my unit that is enfilading the iron sides i get four dice hitting on fours that's uh you're not gonna be happy but that's two hits and they're disordered oh my gosh two saves or three Yep. Oh, no casualty. I can't put any casualties on, but they are disordered. I just need them to stay there. Um, my unit that's down here, they'll use their first fire to get three dice, and they're hitting on fours. That's uh, two more saves of three. At la no! I was about to say, at last, no, I just can't put a, put a casualty on them. Okay. Uh, my unit here is occupying the building. It will fire one shot out at the shaken unit and then one shot from the other facing at the iron sides. Um, the shot against these guys, it will receive plus one because of the range, because they've got fire locks. Um, but against um, the iron sides, it won't. So the one against the iron sides will be hitting on a four. That's a miss. And the one against the shaken unit will be hitting on a three. That's a hit. You need a save of four. Uh, Commander Shuttle. I think it's four, isn't it? I can't remember. We've been uh, doing it. Yeah, it's four. Sorry. Save of four. No. No, so there's another casualty. So there we're taking a break test at the end of the shooting phase. Right, moving along the line. My unit of shot here will fire at the unit that's already got uh, the wound on it. So I'll be shooting with two dice, hitting on fours. Both missed. My disordered unit will fire into the unit in front of it. I'm within six inches, so that will negate the minus one from the disorder. So I've got two dice hitting on fours. Two hits, two saves of five for these ones. Oh, oh, that's one save. Oh, I saw a five then. One casualty, <laughs> so they're now shaken. Um, my cannon at the back here will fire against this uh, unit of musketeers here. It's within 18, so it's going to be two dice hitting on fives. No. Oh, that Ooh, that's so close. close to a bang. <laughs> uh, you haven't moved closer, have no. you? So Still I am hitting one dice hitting on a f six. No. And it's only if you roll two ones it yep. blows up, isn't it? <laughs> Moving along the line, this unit is going to fire into the same one. They're going to get uh, first fire, so they're going to get three dice um, and they're plus one to hit, so three dice hitting on threes. Uh, only one hit, one save, five. Yes. Yep. Right, okay then. Uh, so you need to take a break test over here for these guys. So it's 2d6 minus 1. Uh, they're gone. So 
They put up a brave fight. Uh, okay, so the only thing left to resolve on this turn is the hand-to-hand -hand combat over here between the cavalry. So my cavalry have eight attacks hitting on threes. Miller's cavalry have eight attacks hitting on fours. Uh, we neither of us have tough fighters or anything like that, so let's just see what happens. Are you looking for threes? That's not very good. That's three. You're looking for fours. Uh, That's only one better. Four, yeah. I need four saves of four. I assume Miller's is the same. Yep. Oh dear, all failed. One. one. So I've taken four casualties, which is enough to shake me, and Miller's taken one casualty. Uh, let's work this out. Okay, so Miller did four casualties on me, which is enough to make me shaken. And uh, I did one casualty on him, So, and then I'm supported to my rear. Uh, for one, so it's 4-2 to Miller, so I'm taking a break test, minus one for my excess casualty. This unit does have the Valiant special rule, so if I uh, fail and they break, I can re-roll it. Okay, so 2d6 minus one. Uh, oh, that's a four, so they're gone, so they're they're gone but I'm gonna use Valiant. Ooh, seven six. is a six, so cavalry on a six is... Unit retires one full move away and they become disordered. Um, and because they're a disordered unit, moving through an ordered unit, my other unit becomes disordered on a six. No. Okay, so my unit's retired over there. They are also now disordered. And essentially, I mean, that'll come off at the end of turn anyway, but basically because it wasn't a charge from Miller, he can't sweep in advance. He is nicely sitting on that objective, but my guys are contesting that. Uh, so I believe that is it. That's it for the Royalist turn. So it's time to see what the parliamentarians are going to do in response. Okay, so Miller's been consolidating the lines. Where did you start? Uh, so we obviously managed to uh, move these guys finally. Got the disorder off of them. And they have just moved up as far as they can over this hedgerow. So they're not getting shut out uh, by these guys so yep. much anymore. Um, musketeers over here have swung around to the right and are attacking the churchyard. Didn't take any closing fire. No closing fire. Um, the, they had been thought to charge up and support the pikes that have managed to charge up, but I chose not to, so the pikes have charged. These pikes would have moved up as far as they can, but they weren't enough for them to be able to move. They became disordered as well as they moved through. And they did, annoyingly. Uh, these pikemen have turned around and reformed to face that way. These musketeers have moved back here. We did try and use the brave to take the shaken off of them, but, but it failed. These musketeers have stayed where they are, but I have managed to remove two of the casualties using Fairfax's special rule. Uh, these musketeers have jumped over the wall just to be able to give some more uh, fire on uh, these guys out here. Yeah. Nothing obviously going on over here, uh, but the cavalry have charged uh, to remove contention or contest contestedness -ness of the objective. So they've charged, and uh, Henry Irriton has charged in with them. And the character Interesting. Just stand on the hill ready to shoot. So, shooting, where would you like to begin? Uh, we'll start with the cannon on the far right and we'll work our way down. So it's going to be, it's not within 12, so it's going to be a 6, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it'll be the pike block, I believe. Uh, we'll go for the pike block then. Yeah. Okay, so one shot hitting on 6. six. Here's a 6. Ooh, no. No. Okay. Okay. No That's shooting. No shooting. They can't shoot. They can't shoot. They the shoot can shoot, shoot. but they'd probably be obscured because of yeah, the unit in front of. So you're going to get two dice hitting on sixes because it's minus one for being shaken and minus one for uh, the partial uh, obscurity. Yeah. No. No. Uh, these, these guys. Units. I think they've got to shoot the guys. Oh, I think you might be close shoot them once. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So two shots. No hitting specials. Just fours. fours. No. no. 
It's gonna be one of them. Uh, the cannon. Two shots. Into the, yeah, it'll be into, into them. Uh, sixes, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes, because it's, yeah. Fives normally, minus one, because they're um, in cover. No. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's all the shooting. Combat, where do you want to start? We've got three combats. We've got the one in the churchyard. We'll take the churchyard. We'll churchyard take... first. Okay, so I have four dice. I have three. You're hitting on threes. I'm hitting on fours. Two. So two hits. I'm hitting on fours. Uh, two, two hits as well. You have two saves of five. five. Oh my Two goodness. casualties. I have two saves of three. Oh two saves. <laughs> so I'm shaken. Uh, yes, and you're taking a break test. So 2d6 straight. Oh my there god! Go <laughs> oh dear. So they are, they're off. They, I like. They like their. They like their churchyard. They do. They do like their churchyard. They're doing well. My little. Do you know what? Compared to how they did in the last game, they're all right. Like, although there, there is a lot of iron sights there. They're now just going to go and hide behind the tombstones. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, all I'm going to do is hold. They're doing so well in there. They're going to hold. <laughs> uh, excellent. Um, next combat. Pikes on on here. Yeah. Okay, so these guys can't support because they're disordered. Um, so I've got a whopping, I think it's two dice. Yeah, it is three. It's three dice. So I've got three dice against your six. You've got six dice hitting on threes. That's better. So, so five. five. I have three dice hitting on fours. One. You have one save of four. No. No, it's a one casualty. I have five saves of five. But I get to reroll one for stubborn. Uh, Rubbish. So I took three casualties, so I'm shaken. I lost to combat. Uh, so but it's just a straight roll. Yeah! They're gone as well. <laughs> Here we go. The lines crumble. Uh, let's get them moved off the board. Okay, so Miller's just sort of re He's not advancing. Um, and then it's just the combat over here. We've both got eight dice hitting on freeze because it was counter charge. Can his horse see off a second unit? There you go, Miller. Eight dice hitting on freeze. Uh, all but one. All but one, so seven. And I've got eight dice hitting on threes as well. Oh. Seven as well. Seven. Both of us need seven saves of four. You first. <laughs> I don't like this. I take three okay. casualties. Seven saves of four. I take five casualties. Oh. So I have lost the combat by two, uh, and I am two casualties in excess. So I'm not even going to bother putting the casualties down yet because there might be. So I am two d six minus two. Come on, six. Uh, six minus two is five. Oh. Uh, that is a one full move away from the enemy. So they're going to go through the uh, their other unit. You've seen off two loads of cav cavalry, um, and hopefully. I won't be able, um, no, I won't be able to charge you next turn. Um, as, as long as you hold your ground, uh, that objective will be yours. Right, let's get the board cleaned up. Um, that's the end of the parliamentarian turn, isn't it? So we'll get those taken off and go into the royalist turn five. Okay, so there we go. That's the Royalist command phase over. So on this flank, Hopton tried to push things up, uh, failed. I just got one load of musketeers over there to shoot at the cannon a little bit. These chaps are staying put, cannons are staying put. I used initiative to charge down the hill into whoever's flag that is. He's only in combat with that unit. That one isn't close enough, but that unit will be supporting them. Uh, over here, um, Astley joined his unit and rallied them, so they're no longer shaken. These guys used the shift to move up a little bit, so I've got a nice little gun line to try and get rid of those pikes. And then over here, nothing really happened because everyone over here is disordered, so can't receive rally orders this turn. Um, 
So we'll go with shooting. Um, and I'm going to start down this end for a change. So this unit here is going to shoot at them. Uh, are they within six? In the centre? Yes. So plus one to hit. Uh, so two shots hitting on freeze. As Miller has pointed out, they do still have first fire. So it's three dice. Is their first shot of the game going to be there? Yeah. And so hit on freeze. They're disordered and two hits. That's two casualties. So they are going to be taking a break test at the end of the turn. So at the end of the shooting phase, they are going to be taking a break test with a minus three because they're already one in excess from the last turn and plus the other two they've got. But we do that at the end. Over here, this unit are going to fire at the, mus uh, the pikes because they're near. Remember, it's actually the front of the unit there. They're going to be plus one to hit. So it's two shots hitting on threes. That's one hit, one save of four. Oh, Another casualty. <laughs> Next unit along will do exactly the same, hitting on freeze with two dice. Uh, one hit, one save of four. Saved. Moving along, uh, my cannon here can see the other side of the iron sides, but it'll be minus one because of the range. Um, so it's a six no matter what anyway. No. However, my cannon this side will fire at them. Um, in, I don't think he's within 18. Do you want to check? Might be. Maybe just out. Not sure. 18 is... No. Okay, right. I was massively wrong. That's a hit. Fairfax is in there, isn't he? He is. Oh. Okay, uh, it's over six. Okay, so that's a casualty. And now we need to see if a cannonball has taken off Fairfax's head. Hang on a second. Let's see how this... So it's only if there's excess casualties we need to test for Fairfax. So um, I will be rolling uh, one dice from these guys to hit. Um, and it'll be uh, because of the fire locks, it's going to be at plus one. So hitting on a three. That's a hit and a save of five. They saved. Denied. Um, and then the other shot, I'll fire at the iron sides. That's a hit. Save a three. Yep. Oh my god. Um, and then my last one will be those guys shooting at the cannon. It's going to be uh, plus one for the range, but minus one for shooting at deployed artillery. So I'm hitting on fours. And I missed both. All right, that is the end of the shooting phase. So you only have one break test, test to make, which is for the cavalry. So that's 2d6 minus three. 10 minus three is seven. They're fine. They uh, hold, it, hold their ground and the excess casualties come off. Okay, so it's just hand-to-hand -hand combat. So it's just my large unit against your standard unit. I get eight attacks hitting on threes. You have six attacks hitting on fours. Come on. That many. Seven. Uh, three. I have three saves of four. Two saves, so one casualty. Seven saves of four. I uh, take five casualties. Okay, right, let's get the casualties added and work this out. Okay, so I did how many casualties? Five casualties. Uh, you did one, so I got five. You have one in, um, in support, so yes, I won the combat. And you are two, d uh, with a stamina of four, that means you are 2d6 minus two to your break test. Uh, six, they are going to be retiring one full move away from the enemy. Um, and they become disordered. If you can't do one full move away, it'll be two. So it's going to be two. And they become disordered. There we go. Uh, you're going to have to roll to see if these guys become disordered on the way through. So on a roll of six, they become disordered. <laughs> um, all I'm going to do is reform. And just turn it like that. That's all I'm going to do space like that um and that is the end of the royalist turn so we go into what could possibly be the final parliamentarian turn uh i'm not entirely sure what miller's gonna do let's find out cry <laughs>
It's close yeah. five for them. I don't think they're still within um, close enough range. Oh, shit. No, you will be, because I was in six of you, so... <clears throat> um, managed to rally off some stuff on this guy. Fairfax's ability to just automatically get the rally order off and then heal D3 is quite brutal. Re- reanimation quite, yeah. protocol sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, these guys have charged into the king's... Um, Lifeguard. Uh, these guys are charged into these musketeers. These guys are charged into these, but were disordered on the way in. Yeah, these guys took a casualty on as the way well. in. Just left them as they are. Tried to rally these. Failed. And the cannon's just going to turn to try and shoot the cavalry. So, where do you want to start? Start with the far end, as usual. Far end. So, you've got three dice hitting on fours because you're plus one for the short range. I really, I really wanted you three ones then. That's what I really, really want. Uh, two saves of six. No, two casualties. Okay. Uh, these guys have got pistols. Yep, so they can fire so in. So they fire into there. So it's a large unit, so shooting is two. Two, um, two. and uh, close range, so hitting on. But minus one, so hitting on oh. fours. Two. Unbelievable. I'd be really annoyed if they get taken out because of pistols. So these are three. Uh, one, so they're now shaken. And shaking units can't hold objectives. Woohoo! Uh, shooting none of these guys. Which is, shoot. I should probably just say, that's what's occurred here. Miller can, if you remember at the start of the game, we said a shaking unit couldn't hold um, objectives, so there's a bit of a problem there. Oh no, shaking units inside buildings could. It was they couldn't hold these ones. That makes it sound like I've just made it up to suit me, but that is what we said because they they were holding a building. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they're in there. If, uh, they're in yeah. there. It's, 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 it's the other way around. Right, uh, so the only other thing left to shoot is the cannon, and that is within range to do two shots. Okay. This is where I roll double one. Uh, one. One hit. With a disorder. Uh, save six. No, uh, it's a casualty, and that's put me one over my limit, so I'm going to take a break test. Minus one, minus another two, because it's uh, from artillery. Yep. Uh, they're gone. Horatio Carey. Oh, uh, no, they're Valiant, so they get to re... Oh, no, I've already re-rolled that, haven't I? You no, did, it's the Pikes. You did earlier when it was It was them. I've re-rolled that, so that should have come off. So, yeah, there we go. They're, they're gone. Okay, so it's time for some close combat. Which one do you want to do first? We've got three. What's up with Musketeers? Here. Okay, so you charge, but you're disordered, so that's minus one. So we've both got three dice, and we're both hitting on fours. Two. One. Yeah. One. No. I'm saving on fives. No, but I'm stubborn. No, two casualties. So you're shaken. I lost the combat, therefore I'm taking a break test. They're fine. Fight on next turn. Okay, these guys into them. Okay, so I've got three dice hitting on fours. You have, even though he's in there, he doesn't add anything. You have six dice hitting on threes. Uh, hitting okay. on threes. Uh, four. Oh, hitting on, not freeze, hitting on, they all missed. <laughs> so four saves of five. Oh my goodness. And stubborn. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> um, there's no combat result to worry about, so absolutely fine. These guys here, so you've got six dice hitting, are you all right? No, I'm fucking not. <laughs> uh, you, you need... Um, uh, six dice hitting on, on threes. threes. I've got eight dice hitting on fours. Yeah. Uh, five. Five. Yeah. Right, hitting on fours. Four. So four saves of four. four. Yep. Uh, two casualties. Four saves. Five saves of four. Uh, two casualties as well. So I am still one under. And I'm still one under as well, because I'm a large unit, so I've got a stamina of six. So and I've taken five. So it's dangerous. a draw, the combat, because you did two, I did two. Uh, you're supported to your rear, though, for one. So you win the combat by one. So it's me taking the test. Go on, double one. Give us another one. Another one. Six. Six. Um, so it's combat. just going to be retire. Yeah, they just retire one move backwards. Um, okay, so I think that's it now, isn't it? That's the end, so my unit retreated there. Um, I think that is it. We are going into the sixth Royalist turn, and at the end of this, we'll be rolling to see if there is a seventh turn. So, let's see what happens.
Okay, so uh, over here, not a great deal. I tried to rally one off of here and was successful, so rallied a bit there. Um, but and nothing's happened down here. Combat's still going on here. I tried to remove that with Elite at the start, get rid of that disorder so I could charge. I couldn't, so because I couldn't, I've just pivoted the guns to just try and put fire into there. Hopton tried to get his men moving and failed, so this, this is really attritional. Um, we'll just start over here, I think, and we'll shoot with my unit of musketeers against your cannon. That's two dice hitting on freeze. Actually, it's hitting on fours because it's deployed artillery. Uh, hit and disordered. One save. Is that a save for I artillery? Yes. Uh, yeah, okay, but they are disordered. Uh, my unit here, I will fire one shot into the iron sides, hitting on a three, and then uh, hitting on a four because they're shaking actually, and then one shot out here into. Ooh, uh, it's going to have to go into those guys because they're the closest. Um, so the one against the iron sides hitting on a four. No, the one against this unit will be hitting on a five. That's a hit. Uh, you need to save a five. No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, so they've taken a casualty and we'll need to take a break test at the end of the shooting phase. We'll do the cannons now. Both my cannons are going to fire into your pike block. So this cannon first will get two dice. Sorry, if one five hit, he'll get two dice uh, hitting on fives. That's it. Double one, come on, double one. Oh. One hit, uh, it's minus two, so one save of six. Nope. No, so a casualty. So they're shaken? Yep. And now my other cannon is gonna fire as well. Same thing, 2d6, hitting on fives. All right, so another hit and they're disordered. Save a six. Nope. No, so they are taking a break test as well. As we move down the line, there's no shooting here. My unit here is going to fire into your horse again. So it's going to be two shots hitting on freeze because of the range. One hit, one save or four. Yep. Absolutely. Right, I think that's actually it. So it's time for the break test. So your unit at the back there is 2d6 minus one. Oh, my oh, four. oh no, they're off. Okay, now these guys are, hang on, they are one over, so it's 2d6 minus one, and but um, it's minus one for being disordered and minus one because they took it from a um, artillery, so they're 2d6 minus three. Um, I mean, they were gone just based on the dice roll. <laughs> so they're gone, so both those units have been uh, taken out. How is it, on my shooting rolls, Nothing happens, and you manage to just wipe two units out. Well, you did leave one guy there with all these cannons and that. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you attacked him and then ran off. It was like you fuck goes, Come here, come here. So like and then run away. And... I did the Hastings, I did a William the Conqueror. Oh. Um, we'll have to check for broken battalions as well um, in a minute. Um, but anyway, we, we, shall, we shall work that out in a second. Um, and then it's, it's close combat. So combat here, um, you won the last round, didn't you? Uh, yes. Yes, you did. So that one you did. Or was it a draw? No, uh, you won. I think I won that one and I won that one and you've just popped. Yep, it. okay. So you're hitting on three. You've got six dice hitting on threes. I've got three dice hitting on fours. That's all of them. I'm hitting on fours. That's two of mine. You need two saves of four. Yep. I'm done. I need six saves of five. You roll one for stubborn. So four casualties, they are well and truly shaken. I'm taking a break test, I am three in excess, so 2d6 minus three. They're gone. <laughs> Bad time. This unit here, uh, both. so you've got three dice hitting oh. on... Crochet. Did yeah. I take any casualties in that combat? No. Right, no, it's fine. Come, so come. You, so are you just gonna stay where you stay put? Uh, yeah. Right, so. I've got three dice hitting on fives because I'm shaken. You have three dice hitting on threes because you won the last round of combat. Minus one for being disordered, so you're hitting on fours. Two. Ooh, two. I'm hitting on fives. None. So two saves of five. Stubborn. One casualty. That's a break test on one in excess. So 2d6 minus one. Uh, five. They're going to be retiring disordered. Right. Okay. I'll get that worked out and then we'll just um, roll for the final turn. Okay, so we're going to see if it goes to another turn. Four, five, or six, it goes to turn seven. Miller, do you want to roll? That's it. So that's the end of, uh, of uh, I don't know what we call this, the Battle of the Chapel. Chapelfield. 
Chapelfields. There we go. The Battle of Chapelfields. Um, let's see how this works out. Right, we'll go away and work out the points. I think it's going to be quite tight. Okay, so there we go. We've worked out the points. So, for myself, the Royalists, we get one point for that small holding, and I get one point for that small holding for two points. I got the Central Objective for three points, which makes five. I destroyed five of his units for ten points, which gives me a total of fifteen, and he has two Shaken units for seventeen points total. Miller... Uh, captured the objective over there, which was worth two points. He's then destroyed three of my units for six points for a total of eight. And he's shaken three of my units for a total of 11. So it was 17, 11 to the Royalists. So a minor, I'd say minor Royalist victory. Um, but as we just said, it all came down to those last two units there from uh, from the Royalist cannons. But uh, yeah, well, how do you think that played? Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Annoyed that the um, cavalry got stuck in that corner for so long, considering with the way we do it, they count as two units. But they managed to hold out three of your units on that far right-hand side. It, my right. There is a bit of a, a cold war going on <laughs> yeah. over here. Um, but it's the way we play. I mean, actually, the cavalry en en ended up over there, as you say, not doing a great deal. The cavalry over here, between the sort of... I don't know what you really call them, just standard cavalry ended up being quite important. I mean, you saw off both of my units of cavalry. Um, you ended up shaking. It's just a shame you couldn't rally and take that that objective. Um, if it had gone into another turn, then, you know, it, it was a potential to do that. Again, there's always that question, why not play a turn seven or play two? But the question is, why not roll for turn eight or, or turn nine? So we always do the variable turn length at the end of the game. Um, I was quite lucky, I think, to get into the chapel quite early. In the game, and for me, my these guys have done so well and match. hold out. The rest of my army, I, I'd actually say, was quite hit or miss, mostly miss. I mean, I'm uh, quite far up the middle of the board, and I have been. Well, there was a you, you left the battlefield, then you came on, yeah. then you pushed me back, then I pushed you back, and then there was another push. There was a push of Pike uh, <laughs> in there. But um, anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed this. It was uh, it was a lot of fun to do. There'll be more battle reports coming. Um, we've had a little think about maybe doing an even bigger game, see if we can get a 10-foot table going and another see if maybe we could have a couple more people uh, take some Battalia as well. Um, let us know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again to all the channel members and we will see you all again for another battle report soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. And take a check out Miller's Miniatures. <laughs>